Mina, konbanwa, Jesus freaking gamer here. Reading this chapter, 2 Kings chapter 25, I really wonder what Christians and preachers in general have against R-rated movies. I've never really gotten it. And here's why. <clears throat> Once again, 2 Kings chapter 25, let's start at verse 4. Then the city wall was broken through, and all the men of war fled at night by way of the gate between two walls, which was by the king's garden, even though the Chaldeans were still encamped all around against the city. And the king went by way of the plain. But the army of the Chaldeans pursued the king, and they overtook him in the plains of Jericho. All his army was scattered from him, so they took the king and brought him up to the king of Babylon at Riblah, and they pronounced judgment on him. Then they killed the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes, put out the eyes of Zedekiah, bound him with bronze fetters, and took him to Babylon. With verses like that, is an R rating really that bad? Most of the R rated movies I've seen don't have anything nearly that brutal in them. Maybe it's only because it's not visual, so a lot of Christians don't think it's as bad because you can't, like, see it. I have a decent imagination. I Maybe it's just because I've watched way too much anime and read too much manga over the years. But I have a red granted some of the stuff, and those can be very, very dark. But I have a pretty... De and maybe that's all there is to it. But I have a fairly decent imagination, so when I read something like that, I immediately see, like, the guy pronouncing judgment on him, and then some, you know, two officers on the side, or however many children he had, striking down all the king's children, beheading some, you know, stabbing some through the chest, maybe even stabbing them, like, through the throat, cutting open their stomachs. By the way, if I read a passage like that, I have no problem giving some details, and then a Zedekiah just falls to the ground, like, in tears. Um, those are the last, th that's not the last liquid that comes out of his eyes, but it's the last thing his eye sees as possibly the king himself takes like a branding iron or maybe a very short knife and either brands the eyes or like stabs the eyes real quick and then flicks them out. And then instead of just tears coming out, lots and lots and lots of blood comes out. So yeah, stuff like that. And it's not just like now, you know, hey, well, you're a grown man. You've had plenty of years to think about that and, re you know, watch the anime and read the manga. I was doing this stuff as a teenager. Maybe I'm, and maybe I'm just overexposed. Maybe I've just seen and had access to a little bit too much. But I read stuff like that in the Bible. I'm just like, this is incredibly brutal. That's why I have no problem playing the games I do on this channel. Um... And in comparison with details like that, it wasn't as great. The Bible didn't detail it as graphically as I did. But um, even on the Bible's level, like a few curse words here and there, um, either in entertainment or the fact that I use them myself, one, I don't think it's a biblical issue, but two, in comparison to that, maybe it's just me. I guess this was a little bit of a rant, just kind of like, church, why are you doing that? Because, church, why are you doing that? It does not make any sense. You know, maybe certain people, you know, maybe you want to protect certain um, little ones, certain ages from certain um, materials. I think pretty much all parents, maybe not completely all, but most all parents would agree, yeah, there's some things you don't want your kids to see. Um, but, you know, as far as adults go, to say, you know, adults don't watch R-rated movies, that's not a Christian thing to do. Get out of town. That's absolutely obscene and ridiculous. So this is a bit of a rant, um, something very practical for everyone to look at and think about. And by all means, comment down below if I'm a horrible person or a horrible Christian. Or if you side with me and you're like, you know, it, it's kind of ridiculous. So either way, thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.